welcome everyone to tonight's broadcast on Skin Essentials. Um, my name is Lisa Martin, and if you do not know who I am, I am a partner with um, Motives Cosmetics and MarketAmericaShop.com. I also work um, as a liaison between the field and the corporate company as the director of field development for our beauty brands. And it's my pleasure to introduce you tonight, Melody Sofa from Wisconsin somewhere. Where in Wisconsin? Milwaukee. No, oh, Milwaukee. Okay, I should have figured. <laughs> I feel like every time I know someone from Wisconsin, I say Milwaukee, and that's not always the case. <laughs> Um, but you know, our topic tonight, we were trying to think of what would people want to learn about while on quarantine. Um, and I feel like sometimes when we work in the beauty industry, we take for granted that everyone knows things that maybe aren't so common. So sometimes if we humble ourselves and think back to before we were introduced to, you know, high quality professional grade products, what did we use? What did we know? And I know my, my knowledge was super limited. Mm -hmm. Um, and in fact, I was introduced to our company through using products um, and had some great results with some skincare lines that we're going to chat about tonight. Um, and so I asked Melanie to join me tonight because she is a licensed esthetician as well as a makeup artist. And she has her own freelance uh, business as well as a studio in Milwaukee. So I think you're in your studio tonight, right? Got your beautiful setup there. So I'm in like my home office. I do have three small children and we don't really have a bedtime during quarantine. So if you hear some rummaging around, hopefully it's not too distracting, but this is real life. And the beauty of our business is that we can work from wherever, whenever on our own terms, right? And, and do life. So our goal tonight is really to share some education with you. Um, like I said, we, we are very aware that, you know, those of us that are in the industry, we're pretty proficient with our skincare routines and regimens. And I, that's my personal skincare <laughs> over there. So I literally have like one of everything and depending on the day or the season, I'm mixing and matching, um, which I know, and this is actually one of our other skincare lines for children. It's a, a body lotion for kids. Um, but so what we wanted to talk to you about tonight is, yes, we have a lot of product choices, but we also know that that can be very overwhelming. So what we wanted to do was kind of strip it down for you guys and educate you on just the essentials. And really, um, Melody's going to throw in a few extra steps, I'm sure. But at the very least, I feel like people should be doing a three-step regimen, which is cleansing, toning your skin and moisturizing. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's some other, they really are essential. We'll add other things like some treatments and some exfoliation, depending on your goals and, um, you know, th what your skin type is and things like that. So we're going to try to keep it simple for you tonight, but sometimes we get excited and, and uh, give you a little extra. Um, so I'm going to let Melody do most of the talking this evening. My job is really to kind of moderate. She's the expert. Um, and I'm going to make sure to keep an eye on your comments. If you have a very important question, feel free to put it in the Q&A box. Um, otherwise, I like the comments because my goal for you all is to be interactive and, like I said, make this fun. Um, otherwise, it's not worth doing, right? So I'm going to keep an eye on all of that. And Melody, why don't maybe we just start with step one which is um cleanse and maybe kind of talk to people about how to do that um and maybe some of your favorite products to achieve a, a proper wash or cleanse sure so well first i i was a makeup artist before i became an esthetician and i found that a lot of my brides didn't know the basics mm -hmm. so i thought like well I want to be able to better serve them. So I decided to become an esthetician and I was learning all these things. And one of the things was proper cleansing, toning and knowing the difference and things to look out for that each brand and things that you can find at the grocery store or a department store, they're not all created equal. equal. So I love that all of our products are cruelty free. Mm -hmm. They're very mindful of how things are tested and put together and they don't put things in there just to make it cheaper for the company to make. Right. Everything that's in there is in there for a purpose. Um, so we're going to be going over a lot of things, even though we're trying to keep it simple. Um, we don't necessarily want this to be a 
product training. So I'll be really brief in the things that I'll talk about. Um, there's a lot of really great information on shop.com, lumierdevie.com, motivescosmetics.com that really goes into more detail. And so if you're a guest, uh, make sure to reach out to whoever invited you to say like, Hey, I really want to know more about this. Can you, you know, lead me to the right direction of learning more about that product? Then we can go from there. So I just want to quick start with that. Yeah. I love that you say that. So first of all, I always want to welcome the guests. I should have done that first. I oh, mean, we, okay. love, we love seeing our, our business partners as well and everyone who works with our company, but special welcome to the guests. And like Melody said, if you are a guest or maybe you're just following on social media and you stumbled across us, that's cool too. Um, but if you're a guest of someone personally, make sure, you know, I'm a big advocate for advocating for myself. That's one thing I've learned as a woman in business is, you know, you can't expect people to read your mind or you know some of us aren't great with follow-up so uh if you are a guest advocate for yourself and there's something that you learned tonight or you want to know more about it or you want to try a product then definitely circle back with whoever invited you um and reciprocally if you are a business partner and you invited some guests then you should absolutely be um following up with them as well Okay, step right. one. <laughs> step one. So let's say it's tonight and you're like me and Lisa and you have a full face of makeup on. So we're going to want to pre-cleanse. Mm -hmm. That is the removal of your makeup. Yeah. So there's a couple different options for you. You can use your same face wash twice or you could do... Um, the Motives Cosmetics makeup wipe. Mm -hmm. That's not a face wash. So don't just do that and go to sleep. Right. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that, but don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Because all that's doing is it's just semi removing, you know, the top layer, but we got to get into the pores. Yeah. So we're going to cleanse. There's, you know, things like the Clarisonic, there's all these other tools that you could use to help in aiding in the cleansing process. So for the makeup removal, like today I'm wearing more makeup than I have in like a month. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use the Lumiere de Vie Micellar Cleanser. I oh, love that stuff. So waterless cleanser. You can put this on a washcloth, on a four by four cotton pad. It's in a gel consistency. A little goes a long way. It's going to remove all the grease and oil and dirt and makeup, yep. chocolate, wine stains around your lips. You know, <laughs> get, rid of, get rid of all of that. And then you're going to wash your face with your cleanser. So there's different types of cleansers for different types of skin. Um, we are super lucky to have a great range of different types depending on your skin. So I like to customize and sometimes I'll even use a different cleanser when I'm, you know, it's that time of the month and then I'll go back to my regular kind because we're producing more oil, we're more hormonal and we tend to have hormonal acne. Not all of us, I'm one of the lucky ones that does get that. So I would use a, from the Timeless Prescription line, they have an enzyme cleanser. That one's really great to really help further, um, more aggressively cleanse and clean out and yeah. pores, but I would not use that every day. So I like to use this tool. This is the Lumiere de Vie Cognac sponges. You get three, these two are the same. And this one is infused with charcoal. I'll use this when I'm on my cycle and it comes with a string. I put it over my faucet, let it run with water. It's kind of like makeup sponges where it'll like triple in size, squeeze out any extra water. And then you're going to take your facial cleanser, use about a pea size. This is brand new, so I'm gonna be careful of this. And then you put that in your sponge and it's gonna be nice and frothy. And then in upward circular motions on your neck, along your ears and your hairline for a good minute you're gonna wash your face. If there's any leftover makeup, it's nice because you're gonna see that on the sponge and then and under the water faucet, you'll just squeeze it out and then keep washing. It's more, what makes that sponge special, it's more efficient 
than just using your fingers because it can get into grooves and creases that your fingers can sometimes miss. Okay. So I find that you get a much more effective cleanse mm -hmm. and it also helps with making sure all of your makeup is off too. And you're using less cleanser at the same time. So it's really a win-win overall. Um, they last That's about three that. months per, per sponge. And I want people to know those sponges are natural, so they'll sort of disintegrate over time and then you just replenish them. And there's two regular sponges and then a charcoal sponge. But um, I think that they are amazing for, I struggle with very oily, acne prone skin, very large pores. Um, so I love doing that extra step. Um, and I think with uh, the one cleanser you mentioned was the Timeless Prescription line, which is an enzyme based. Um, and it has an MDI complex, which is marine derived ingredients. So um, I love that as having oilier skin. I tend to keep it in my shower. So I, I'm doing something right because I'm not using it all the time. So because it is, I guess, more of a, I don't want to say aggressive, but uh, like a deeper clean. It'll almost dry you out a little bit. So most things that are treatment for acne, it's helping to re-regulate that oil production. So it tends to dry it out, but you always want to balance that out with something super creamy and nourishing and moisturizing. Otherwise you're just going to have really dry flaky skin all the time. And then it's, you're not getting that new cellular. Love that. And I think too, for people who have oily skin, know there's a difference between, um, you know, oil and water, right? So sometimes when we're excessively order oily, it's because our skin is lacking moisture. So I don't know if you want to touch on that because that was like a big aha thing for me. Sure, absolutely. So I have a lot of clients that come into my spa and they get a facial for the first time and they say, I have such oily skin. Mm -hmm. I'm using this five-step proactive acne, blah, blah, blah. I don't wear sunscreen. I don't do this. I don't drink a lot of water. I'm like, well, essentially what's happening is your skin is now overproducing oil because yes. we're stripping it so much because our skin only produces oil. It doesn't pr produce water. So now it's just like, it's thirsty for moisture. So that's why I say with that enzyme cleanser to not use it all the time, you want to balance that out with something more hydrating, creamy, milky. So yeah. you want to make sure to balance that out. So sometimes it's like, wow, I'm so like in the middle of the day, I'm like, I could just skate across my forehead. Mm -hmm. It could just be genetics, but it also could be maybe something we need to adjust in your skincare. We could do a mattifying lotion instead of maybe a thicker moisturizing cream. Maybe you're doing too much moisturizer, but it's usually from doing things that are for oily skin. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we always balance. That. Yeah. So on the note of balancing, so the first step is cleansing and know that, you know, that, that was a big thing for me, actually, even with your hair, where you want to wash one time to remove your makeup and then wash your face another time to actually cleanse and treat your skin. Yep. And sort of the same thing with hair. Uh, you want to wash your hair to get all of the dirt and impurities and build up product out and then treat your scalp and wash your hair, you know? So right. it works both ways. You may be familiar with one or the other. Um, so that's the first step. And then the second step would be to tone your skin. And so this is like, so, uh, I guess relevant to me because we were laughing when we were preparing for what we were going to talk about, how most people, I guess, especially as teenagers or just people who don't know any different. I mean, I would go and I would buy like the sea breeze and the clean, what was it called? Sea breeze and some, I guess clean and clear had a brand of it, but like alcohol or very, like there, there's a difference between a toner and then an astringent, I guess you could say, right? So I'll let you kind of talk about that. Sure. So a sea breeze, that's so funny. <laughs> Flash from the past. Like, or like witch hazel or just like the 70% alcohol that you- Or alcohol. I know people that just use alcohol. Yeah. I caught my boyfriend doing that once. I'm like, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> my reputation's on the line. <laughs> Get your act together. <laughs> Get it together. So that was another thing that I learned, you know, the science behind the skin when I went to aesthetic school. I, it really felt like I was in medical school. All these incredible 
and incredibly overwhelming things that I was learning, I always thought toner was just like, it's just one of those things that skincare companies just say that you should probably have it because they want to make money off of you. But I learned that toning the skin is bringing the skin's pH back to balance. So we are really lucky in all the cleansers that we offer. They really don't strip the skin, but it's still better to err on the side of caution to make sure everything is neutralized and your skin's pH is back to a balance, Mm -hmm. which is about a 4.5 to a 5.5, kind of like in that neutral acidic area. So what that's going to do is it's going to chemically prepare your skin for nutrients to receive it fully the way that it's designed to. Mm -hmm. So that's your eye cream, your serum, your moisturizer, all those steps. Mm -hmm. And it's always best to layer those steps too. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple different kinds. My my overall go-to is the skin intelligence. Uh, pH normalizing spray. Mm -hmm. So after you fully washed your face, you pat dry and you're just going to do a couple mists. I like to do it at the ends of my hair. I did that today because I've been feeling a little dry. So it's really great for leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. Um, I love to travel with this as well. It's good for static, static cling as well. And good if you mix in a little travel bottle with some tea tree and some citronella oil. It's good for a um, mosquito repellent too. So I love something where it's like, what else could I use this for? And it's purpose. Yeah. Yeah. I love I that. I feel like an infomercial when I talk about that product because I'm like, but wait, there's more. <laughs> wait, one more thing for only $19.95. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think but is truly, I mean, it's designed to balance the pH of your skin. And you made a really great point of the reason why that's so essential is that you're going to get maximum benefit of your treatments and your serums and your moisturizers when your skin is pH balanced. Mm -hmm. If it's not, it can't really accept all those extra steps. Um, But that skin intelligence product, I have to say, um, I do the same thing. I don't wash my hair every day. So if I just want to refresh, I mist it in my hair and it's better than layering extra product. Yeah, it gives you a little boost. Um, I, I like to put it in the fridge for the summertime. Like if I'm out in the sun or I'm hot, it has chamomile and lemongrass and, um, lavender, all kinds of amazing ingredients. So it's very just refreshing. Um, my, two of my kids have an allergy to mosquitoes. So when they get a mosquito bite, it really welts up. So I just spray that and it really soothes it and it, it kind of, uh, takes away the itch for them. So, um, it's great for so many reasons, but even just think about getting out of the shower and missing any type of toner, whether it's this intelligence or any of our other products, which we'll talk more about products in a minute, but we're kind of trying to just get through the steps. So you have a fundamental understanding of the steps. So yep. Cleansing twice, ideally. Toning to balance the pH, that's the biggest goal, which a true toner will do. Um, An astringent or an alcohol will not. That's gonna strip your skin and actually throw off the pH balance, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, and then wh- what happens after that? <laughs> um, Olivia citri- citronella oil. Oh yeah, for the mosquito repellent. I just wanna say that before I forget. Yeah. So next is, Um, so when I'm starting a client on a new skincare regimen, that's literally doesn't know anything about anything. I don't want to overwhelm them with a lot. Mm -hmm. Are there things that their skin needs to achieve the goal that they're looking for? Absolutely. But to keep it really, really, really basic, just to get your mind on a system of consistency because that's where the key is is in consistency you're consistently removing your makeup every night you're consistently washing your face for a minute in upward circular motions giving your skin a nice massage you're consistently toning and next we'll moisturize so just a little bit goes a long way depending on your skin type you know we could offer a moisturizing cream because mm-hmm. while you're sleeping so we're just talking about even a, a nighttime skin regimen mm-hmm. is you could do a moisturizing cream and 
it's a little bit thicker than a lotion. It's more emollient, so it'll take a little bit longer to absorb. You're sleeping, what else is going on? So okay. you can get away with doing more layers of product and thicker products because, you know, you don't have to worry about putting on makeup. And then when the morning, we can keep it even more simple. Mm -hmm. That makes total sense. So there is a reason why there's like a quote unquote night cream yep. and then a day cream. I think even myself before I knew any better, I'm like, really, is this like my background's marketing? I'm like, is this just a marketing thing? Like charge more money, same product, different uh, container or marketing. Um, but no, I mean, there it's helpful to have something like you said that can treat your skin overnight while you're sleeping. Um, and then maybe a different option for during the day when you want something maybe a little bit lighter. So yes. I would recommend that those are the three minimum things that anyone should do, whether regardless of your age, your skin type, your skin tone, your ethnicity, male, female, doesn't matter. Um, and the one thing I want everyone to know is we actually have, they're called value sets. We have skincare value sets um, in all four of the lines that we broker out. So as a, our company is actually a product brokerage company, we're not a manufacturer. And what that means is we can pick and choose the manufacturers we work with that are making the best product in that category. And then we have a team of professionals that test everything. We have quality control and, and you know, uh, people that have lots of letters behind their names and lots of degrees that are making sure. Um, and I know you wanted to talk about this too, Melody, where we can mix and match the different, the four comprehensive uh, skincare lines that we have based on your needs or your budget. Right. Um, but certainly if you buy the value kit within the same system, they're designed to work together. Um, so a lot of times the cleanse, tone, moisturize, they have certain ingredients and certain percentages where it's meant to be part of a system. Um, but there are, you know, uh, of course, uh, instances or benefits to sort of mixing and matching as you might need as well. Um, to me, from a, a functionality or an economical standpoint, I think if you're someone maybe who's not really used much skincare yet a lot of the the people that i service are you know busy parents and they are working people and they just they don't have a background in beauty and sometimes we look at people and think oh they're not interested in skin or makeup because they don't really wear makeup and or they don't seem to really prioritize their skin and I've found that a lot of times it's not because they don't want to, it's just they don't know where to start. It's very overwhelming. Yes. Um, so I would recommend, we have a line called Skin Intelligence, um, which is hypoallergenic. It's very economically priced, but don't let the price make you think that it's not a great quality because it's an incredible quality product. Um, but it doesn't have all of the patented, you know, ingredients. It's more of a natural product. Like I said earlier, it has lavender, uh, chamomile, lemongrass, things like that. So it's very calming and soothing to the skin. Um, and that might be a great place to start, right? Um, and then we have three other lines. Melody, I don't know if you want to give like a little snapshot of them, but maybe we can give an overview of each of the four lines that we have and then maybe talk about some of the extra steps we can piece in. Okay. Uh, all right. We have Lumiere de Vie. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing a lot of questions off to the side. So, and if people tuned in late, we're, this isn't necessarily a super overly detailed product training. So you could always go to shop.com and, you know, read more about the details and the benefits and the ingredient, the active ingredients of each of these products or modoscosmetics.com, lumiagv.com. Uh, so make sure to utilize those tools that are accessible to people that have a business and mm -hmm. guests as well. Uh, so I just want to touch on that too. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, so Lumiere de Vie is becoming an even more full spectrum line. Amber Reidinger designed it. She's the daughter of Lauren Reidinger, who's co-CEO, and she started Motives Cosmetics. So Amber is younger. She's in her mid twenties mm -hmm. and she had acne, rosacea, and a little bit of melasma. So she designed a skincare line 
that helps with those things. But not only just those things, but it's one of those where it doesn't matter what kind of skin you have, there's going to be something in there for you, whether that be just for a season of the year or all year round. So I re- that's usually my go-to baseline. And then I'll customize treatments from the cellular laboratories, which is for our um, super anti-aging, um, preventative, mature skincare line. I really love um, a lot of things in there as well. And then we have Vita Shield. They have some incredible products in there as well. They don't, it's not a full spectrum line. So they don't have a cleanser. They don't have a toner. It's really just, um, the OPC serum. There's a vitamin C and a vitamin C and E with hyaluronic acid moisturizer. And they do have an eye gel. I believe those are the only products that, um, they have. And then we also have a random treatment cream called Pentaxel. That's (laughs) one of my favorites. And, um, then there's timeless prescription which is enzyme based it's more of the acne treatment Mm -hmm. line that we have but like i said you know we want to customize for ourselves Mm -hmm. um and for our for our clients as well because no one's skin is going to be the same not everyone's going to need the same cleanser but maybe they'll like the same moisturizer as the same person over here that has different skin, but you know, you can find a benefit for both skin types. Absolutely. No, that's so good. And again, you know, tonight we don't want to be on here for two, we could talk for all day. Really. Oh my God, all day. <laughs> uh, but our goal was really just to kind of give you some basics. There are, um, if you go on your, um, global meeting training seminar system. We do have an online curriculum happening right now and you can go to a skincare one-to-one class or an advanced skin solutions class and learn more about the products. Um, If you are new to partnering with the company or you are a guest or a customer, you're welcome to attend trainings. All of our trainings are open to guests. You could also, uh, like Melody mentioned earlier, go onto the Motives Cosmetics website that has all of our skincare products noted on there. Um, It also has a skincare analysis as a free service on the Motives website. So you can go through and take a questionnaire based on your your needs, um, your lifestyle, and it'll give you some recommendations. Um, So again, just really being mindful of the masses and keeping this very simple. One tool I'm big on tools so you can help yourself is that we have a flyer, which is um, skincare value kits. So if you are a business owner, you can um, look for that through your back office and it shows you um, the different value kits we have. And when we say value kit, it's again, including the cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and recapping what Melody touched on. You think about skin intelligence, is our baseline, which is hypoallergenic. It's botanical extracts, not essences. So extracts are calming and healing and soothing. Essences are often um, like an added scent, but often an irritant. So if you've tried a botanical-based product before, just be aware of that. It may not have been the extract, which is like the pure and the the high quality part of the plant. Um, And it may have been in essence. Um, Lumiere de V is, I would recommend everyone to use that line. It is great for healing. We sort of call it first aid for the skin. There's also incredible, incredible treatment products in that line, which again, we could take a full day just talking about the, the quality of this one skincare line alone. Um, But if you're someone who's uh, wanting to be a little more proactive about your skin, maybe you want help with uh, whether it's rosacea, which you mentioned earlier, or even I have oily skin and I love the Lumiere de V line. I use that. um, I mix and match everything, but I like that at night, like you were saying earlier. To me, cellular laboratories think anti-aging and skin brightening, okay? So there are some patented ingredients in there. One that stands out to me is Renovage, which um, is great for helping with the uh, hyperpigmentation, sunspots, things like that. It's gentle as far as like the cleanser and the toner, whereas I find the Lumiere de V to be more active. Um, And if you're looking for intense hydration, 
hydration, the de-aging cream in Cellular Labs, to me, that's the most intense hydration cream that we have. Um, and then the Timeless Prescription line, we touched on that earlier, but just to kind of wrap it up, again, enzyme-based, has the marine-derived ingredients, great for deep cleaning, think tightening and firming. So you can see how mixing and matching these lines is so advantageous because you can mix your skin brighteners, you can mix the, the uh, firming and the tightening, and then you can get really all the cutting edge science um, with really amazing, and we have a lot of new products for our Lumiere to be line like a vitamin C intensive treatment, like a retinol cream. Um, they're, they're always launching more because Amber Reidinger, who's, uh, you know, Melody did a great job explaining her passion for the line, but she's always looking at what's next, what's hot, uh, what's coming out. So um, that's a, a great space to kind of live in as well. The other thing I wanted to show you as a resource or a tool is that we have flyers for every comprehensive line. So those four lines I gave you an overview of, we have a flyer, it's called a regimen guide on each of those. And so if you want to live within that one regimen and you don't wanna mix and match, which is great for someone who's starting out because sometimes we're not sure how to mix and match properly. So you can live within that one system um, and you can find those regimen guides and they're all available on your back office as well. Um, and then Jessica, if you wanted to do the skincare analysis, that's on the Learn tab. If you go to your Motives website, there's a Learn tab and you can click on the skincare analysis. Um, we are in the process of updating that right now. We have so many new products always launching. Um, so it doesn't have some of our newest products, but it's still a great tool and we'll be updating that um, very soon. Um, so the last thing that I think we could cover uh, is some of your favorite um, products or extra steps. So let's say we master the basics and depending on, you know, if you just have personal favorites that you find are great for our, most of your clients. I know when you and I were preparing, you mentioned how important exfoliating is and then some of your favorite treatment products. So I don't know if you want to take a minute to share some of that. Sure. I would even say the basics would be cleanse, tone, moisturize, exfoliate. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's that important because we are dealing with environmental damage, dirt and debris in the air, and our skin is our largest organ. So it's going to soak up things around like a sponge. So think when you go to a bar or a restaurant and all the cooking smoke and whatnot all that is in those particles are in the air and it's ending up in your hair on your clothes and in your skin mm -hmm. so after a while that does settle in so that's why the cleansing step in the pre-cleanse at night is so important is because you want to make sure you have a completely clean slate before you start doing those extra steps mm -hmm. so if you're really wanting to work on preventative care anti-aging even helping to reverse some damage mm -hmm. so i have i'm from wisconsin i have fair skin um in my 20s, I did not have fair skin. I had very tan, oompa loomp skin, okay? <laughs> That's from an artificial tanning bed and it was not cute. And now I'm experiencing sun damage and hyperpigmentation. I didn't really understand sunscreen. So I would say um, our cellular laboratories, SPF 50, that's a broad spectrum, UVA, UVB protection. Mm -hmm. So in the morning, you're gonna layer that on top of your moisturizer. Yeah. And then for extra hydration, if you're feeling a little dry, you can use the Lumiere de Vie um, elixir oil, just a couple drops and lightly press it into the skin. I love that stuff. And then that was one of our questions, when to use the elixir. So that's your answer. It's actually at the very end. So typically with an, uh, a treatment or a serum, you would use it cleanse tone treat and then seal in the treatment with a moisturizer. But the elixir is kind of an exception to the rule, right? And we want to put that on at the end. I actually keep the elixir on my nightstand um, because, you know, I'm in my bathroom and I'm doing my whole regimen before bed. And then I want, you mentioned this earlier, maybe we should talk about it again, but when you're adding in some treatments, you really should let them dry and have their moment to shine and work before layering on the next one. It'll start um, to chill. You'll, you'll know if you didn't wait long enough. 
So thank you for mentioning that. I'm just going to say this really quick. So I tell all of my clients when we've mastered the basics and we start to incorporate a treatment cream or a treatment serum, eye cream, all that fun stuff, you're at home, especially right now, we're in quarantine. We're not going anywhere. You don't have to do your entire skincare regimen all at the same time in the bathroom <laughs> or on your vanity. You don't. Right. We're at, you're, where, where are you going? You know, we're just at home. So even when you're not in quarantine, so you could, I go home, I put on my jammies, I'll remove my makeup, I'll wash my face, I'll tone, let that dry, I'll do my treatment serum, then I'll make dinner, I'll eat dinner, and then I do either a retinol or a brightening treatment cream to help with my hyperpigmentation, watch a movie, do some emails, and then right before I go to bed, and now this is like, you know, random times, you could even bring it into the living room if you want, like your skincare, instead of going back to the wherever your skincare is. Then you'll do your night cream, a little elixir oil, if that's you know what you're feeling at that time, and then you go to sleep. So yeah, don't yeah. feel like you need to do, oh, I'm like standing in front of the mirror and it says I have yeah. to wait seven minutes for this to absorb. What am I gonna do for seven minutes? Or you could do some lunges, I don't know. But don't yeah. feel like- you oh, yeah, it's just, it's <laughs> No, I actually do the same thing. I have found, um, listen, we're all human. So if I wait too late, I'm honestly just too tired. And if I do a makeup wipe, I'm doing good. But I prioritize my skin. So what I've learned is um, I don't want to wait really till really late at night. So it's like if I get home and I'm done my day, a lot of times it's like same like you said, before dinner or after dinner, we often eat later in our house because we just we work till later. So um, to me, cooking's relaxing. So like I'll go wash my face and same thing, do like a toner, maybe one of my serums cook. And then when I go up to brush my teeth, I'll do another one. So you, if you're helping get your kids in, in bed or in the tub, do your steps in between those activities. Don't just feel like it's a burden and you have to sit there and wait because you deserve to feel great about your skin. I think one of the most empowering things is to really, really love the skin that you're in and not feel like you have to wear so much makeup, you know, and we have products that can do that for you. Um, but you have to prioritize it. And it's just like taking vitamins in the morning. We don't always feel like it, but you know, it's a commitment that you're making. And your skin is your largest organ and I don't think people think about that you know it has a lot of jobs it's regulating our temperature it's you know protecting us from all the the grime and the dirt and it's your number one line of defense and you mentioned that earlier like think about your well non-quarantine day-to-day you're outside you're in restaurants and all of that's just laying on your skin and you you need to wash and he, some people naturally they're just gifted and they have beautiful skin like sometimes i'll see someone i'm like oh my gosh your skin's amazing like what are you using what do you love and they're like oh. olive oil <laughs> yeah like something like yeah like my kids baby wash i'm like oh no <laughs> you know, and uh you know some of us have to work so hard to have nice skin and uh so it's just a commitment and we all have different genetics and we're all up against different things but regardless our skin can only do so much i think sometimes we expect miracles mm -hmm. you know our skin has a shedding cycle so i always tell clients before you really see any dramatic result, especially when it comes to brightening, because you're bringing things up to the surface and wow. it'll shed and flake off like a retinol or um, the timeless prescription two-step peel pads, you're going to be a little dry. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little, especially if you have acne, cystic acne, it's going to be really annoying before it gets better. Yeah. So you just got to push through and give your skin a chance to do what it's designed to do. So it'll shed, it'll, you'll probably see some new pimples if that's something that you deal with. Um, especially now in quarantine, my alcohol and my gluten level has been up a little higher than normal. So my skin, you know, what's going on on the inside, it's going to reflect on the outside. So when you're going through a change and you're starting something new, you have to give your skin a second to go through that cycle and give it a couple months to really start to get acclimated with that. 
Yeah, and really, and this is our goal, like everything that she's saying, that our goal as business owners with our company is to really focus on one-to-one -one marketing. We pride ourselves on servicing our customers and our clients and appreciating and valuing their business. That's so centric to what we do, and that's a big part of what you'll learn about when you go to any of our classes in our curriculum. And so I just want to mention, you know, there's a lot of people on tonight. Um, I'm just looking at the numbers between Zoom and Facebook and we've got like 400, 500 people. Um, and so- I did my makeup for you guys. <laughs> yes, special. I know every time I do one of these late sessions, my husband's like, oh, you look so pretty. Are you doing that for me? I'm like, nope, doing it for you. <laughs> I'm doing it for Melody today. Um, you know, but really, you know, just take the time. If you're a business owner, get educated because you, if people work very hard for their money and if they're going to spend their money through you as a business owner, then you should be servicing them and you should you understand. The product. Like, yeah. wow, your skin looks great or, or say, hey, this is my journey. Um, you probably see a lot of stuff, like a lot of texture. This is the treatment that I'm doing right now. I can't wait to see the end result. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm very um, personal with my clients. And so I'll say, hey, I'm going through that too. Like, let's do it together. Let's hold each other accountable. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then a couple of things I want to reiterate that you mentioned on that I think are so important is, um, and I think some of the questions I was trying to keep on track of things, if you are either using too much product or you're not giving the product time to penetrate and um, work its magic and you're layering too much product on too quickly, you're gonna get that peeling. Yep. Um, so some people, like they think that it's something wrong with our product or it's not working properly. So I just want you all to know that less is best um, we have this tendency where we want to just do so much, right? But there is such a thing but as- We have a lot to use. <laughs> so yeah. it's hard. Like I want to use 17 different serums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So break it into like nighttime and morning, you know, and we have a, if you are a business owner, we have a Facebook group as a support system to answer questions and further education, which is Motives Skincare Official Pro Partners. Um, there are some questions you need to answer before you get into the group. Um, like your, you know, your ID and are you a business owner and things like that. But that's a great platform where there's people like Melody who are there to sort of mentor you and guide you in the right direction. We also have on YouTube, there is, it's under the Motives Cosmetics um, YouTube channel, but we have some playlists on um, each of those four lines that we talked about, the comprehensive lines. We have um, a webinar series that we did over the summer um, as part of our, our Monday marketing series, um, but we've recorded them. If you want to learn more in depth, those are at least an hour each. There's a lot of information in there. Uh, you can self-educate that way. Um, so I'm just trying to point you in directions tonight. Again, we wanted to keep it simple. It's skin essentials. We wanted to take time to interact and answer questions. We know it's late. We could, you know, uh, chat forever, but, um, I wanted to reiterate that. And then the last thing that you mentioned was not only like the importance of serums, but exfoliation. And so I think maybe we should just clarify at what point do we exfoliate? And um, while you, before you answer that, I'm gonna also give you guys another tip on more self-education is hop over to the Motives by Lauren Riding our Facebook page. And we had a live segment a couple weeks ago um, where Vina Hudgens did an amazing yeah. segment on the different- I love that. Yes, <laughs> um, with one of her girlfriends, Gina. So it's like an expert, an esthetician, and then an average consumer like myself. And so Vina and Gina did a really great segment and they talked about the difference between a physical and a chemical exfoliator. And they talked about some product options, how often you should do it. One thing I learned at one of our, our skincare classes like a decade ago was um, I'm big on analogies. I think they help uh, get the point across. But with exfoliating, think of um, a house plant. If any of you have house plants, how you have to, or any plant really, you have to pick off the dead leaves and you have to, what is, what is it called? Like trimming the tree. Uh, not trimming the tree. That's like Christmas. <laughs> Pruning? What's that? Pruning. Yeah. It's whatever. Pruning. I don't, you know, plan, so I don't even, I don't. I'm messing up my own, the analogy that I learned so long ago, but 
You know, I notice even in my house plants, when I take off the old dead leaves, it regenerates faster and more beautifully. So think about that with your skin. You mentioned earlier how our skin's regenerating almost on a monthly basis as we age, that happens less frequently. Um, but we really do need to exfoliate the dead skin to make room for new gray growth. Um, and also don't be jaded if you have sensitive skin or dry skin. I've noticed a lot of people say, I'm so dry, I don't wanna exfoliate. They're so nervous okay, about that. I exfoliate every day. There you go. So tell us about exfoliating and then we'll wrap up. <laughs> and don't use body products on your face. Too. Oh, yes, good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, exfoliation. Deadhead plants, I didn't know that's what it was called. I've never heard that term in my life, have you? I feel like the one thing that I know, and I would have to do it a lot because I would either give it too much water or not enough. I'm like, fake plants it is. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, so it really depends on the skin type. Um, rule of thumb, I'm more into chemical exfoliation and as needed a physical scrub or detox mask exfoliation okay. because chemical is going to get into the pores and dissolve and eat away so think of it like a brick wall mm -hmm. so why isn't my moisturizer i'm doing one product i'm only doing a moisturizer why does it pill probably because there's such a layer, a thick brick layer of dead skin in the way, your skincare is not penetrating through. So we're eating away and dissolving through that brick wall, which is old makeup, dirt, debris, or, um, you know, dead skin cells. We want to dissolve and eat that away. And it's much more of a gentle way of than like just like scrubbing okay. your face all the time. So really maybe two, three times a week, if that more, if you're in a dryer, you know, season, like in Wisconsin, it's winter time, like 10 months out of the year. Okay, so cool. it's, a little, <laughs> it's a little dry. <laughs> um, but you always then want to make sure you follow with hydrating treatment serums and a night cream. I really like to do my exfoliation personally at nighttime because then it helps to make sure you know you got all your makeup off and it's a really nice clean slate for when you're doing more treatment products. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as chemical exfoliation too, across the board, 365 days of the year, you have to wear sunscreen. Yes. Because when you're using chemicals, and acids and brighteners, you are bringing things to the surface. So it's kind of like how a chemical peel works. So you're you're bringing that old damage to the surface that might even look dry and flaky and dark in some places. So if you're not protecting that from the sun, you're re-damaging old damage. Okay. So it's really super important. I like to do my brightening things at night, but still keep it simple and do more of like my soothing things in the day and then wear the sunscreen right after that. Great tips. Okay, so we're gonna answer some questions and then we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. Um, I saw someone ask about Pentaxel. So without getting too in depth, just know that Pentaxel is a treatment product. Everyone thinks it's a moisturizer because of the texture, but it is a treatment and it's best when you're warming it up and you have to really like massage it into the skin, right, Melody? And the, okay, I just saw someone say, brown sugar for the face don't don't use brown sugar on your face only on the body yes because you're a big difference like, between the skin on your face and your body so use the product you're, you're, like gonna, you're gonna tear your skin apart so if you don't like chemical exfoliation the um um the fix microdermabrasion it's like a whipped consistency it's really tiny tiny baby granules mm -hmm. um and if you want something a little bit more deeply cleansing and exfoliating that would be the lumiere de be volcanic exfoliating mask if you don't like chemical exfoliation um it does have some chemical in there but it's really mostly a physical i just saw that I'm like no brown sugar on your face yeah, i know i'm glad you said that um so Pentax so you were rubbing your hands together there yeah. so not here because your skin is going to absorb the product here we want to focus here so for a good 30 seconds i'm putting my hands in the air and I you know I'm doing a little workout and you're activating it. You're going to smell a little like minty fresh. Yes. Um, I like to do my vitamin C um, from Lumiere de Vie 
and my eye cream first and let that fully absorb and then do this and then I'll apply it. And then I start on my forehead and then we're working against the lines. I've done videos on this on my Instagram. I could go in the motives group too and do this again around the eye. Mm -hmm. We're working up, we're working up. It's a firming peptide cream. Make sure you go on the neck. You're following the lymphatic system. So you want to drain down. You don't want to clog anything and puff your face up here. I like to go on my chest. I like to go on my stomach and my, th I mean, it's good for full body. Yes. But you want to do those like, you know, activate per area because it's going to need a full treatment amount mm -hmm. there. And you can do it on the body, even on the face, depending on if you're wearing makeup, like three times in a day, if you're really working to plump things up. Great for new moms on the stomach mm -hmm. um, because it's going to really, really, really tighten and lift and like um, rejuvenate the skin cells. Yes. Google before and after Pentaxel, you'll be amazing. It's amazing. We've had it a long time, so it's easy to overlook, but, and if you're layering serums, I don't think we said this, you want to go in order of the most sheer texture to the thickest or creamiest. So Pentaxel would be your last serum that you're applying. Um, there were a couple questions about neck cream. So we have an amazing neck cream. You want to talk about why we need a different product and a little bit about it? So the I can't recall the name of it. It's on the tip of my tongue, but it's the same active ingredient that is in our needle-free treatment serum for our face that's also in the neck cream. Amazing for even the back of your hands, the back of your neck, and on your decollete as well. So there's different thicknesses like around the eye. It's the thinnest part of our face as far as our skin density goes. Okay. So that's why we use an eye cream. And sometimes if we're using a face cream all up under here and how thin and delicate this is, mm -hmm. you can get those tiny little white bumps. That's called milia. Mm -hmm. That's trapped product that gets stuck under that delicate area. You cannot remove those yourself. You have to go to an esthetician to have that removed. Mm -hmm. So there's, so for the neck cream, um, you can use, you know, your moisturizer and then the neck cream or just the neck cream by itself, but it's kind of like this gel consistency. It's nice and delicate for that part of the skin and it's very soothing and it does tighten very well. Love it. Amazing. Um, I find that is better warmed up as well because it is like that gel. So it can feel a little bit sticky unless you're warming it up on your hands. Um, another question that we had was in regards to, now I lost it, um, distinguishing between actually being oily or being oily due to lack of hydration. So that would be your pore structure and your pore size. Um, I would encourage you to whoever that was. Um, I mean, you can honestly even Google that question too. Like why, why is it this way? Um, but yeah, it just depends on if you have a larger pore structure that usually means that you're going to have more oily skin just naturally. I have combination skin where I'm more oily, um, in my T-zone because my pores are larger and I get a little bit flaky in some areas, but I've done a really great job at balancing and neutralizing my skin. I don't really have that problem anymore. I yeah, think I think that's a great tip really for, I guess, extremely dry or extremely oily. Um, because for me, like when I, before I knew any better, what, what's yeah. that? Are you, I mean, are they drinking water? There's so many different. Yeah, water intake is important. I think, um, you know, make sure you're using a moisturizer if you're oily. I know I never used to because I was like, oh, I don't need that. I'm so oily. But if your skin is lacking moisture, it will produce more oil. So it's so important to moisturize. And I understand we don't want like a really heavy feeling product. So if you have oily skin, a great moisturizer. My favorite is the VitaShield C&E Intensive Moisturizer. I love the sheer texture. Um, Timeless Prescription also has the sheer texture. And I also really love the Cell Labs Day Cream. It has an SPF of 20. That's like a whip and it's very, it smells really refreshing and it's light. Um, so those are, for oily skin, those are my favorite. If you're really dry, um, Cell Labs De-Aging Cream or the Lumiere de Vie, um, 
I forget what we call it, but the face cream. <laughs> um, well, is, the, is there that brick wall in the way preventing any of your products from absorbing in the first place where that's why you're getting really oily? So like, what is your exfoliation process like too? So there's a lot of different, like I would have to do a full consultation with somebody to know yeah. what's going on. So on that note, uh, you can attend classes, check out our YouTube channels. If people want to follow you, Melody, or learn more from you, you mentioned Instagram earlier. How can they follow you on social? Do you want to type your stuff in the chat there and just make sure? sure. Just my name, Melody Sopa Artistry. Um, I do, it's my, I keep it personal and business because a lot of my clients I have a very like sisterly relationship with my clients mm -hmm. and they like to see pictures of my cat and they like to see funny little things and they like to see encouraging things. They like to see inspiration, you know, all like a full spectrum. So I, I like to combine those things and I do a lot of behind the scenes and tips and tricks. So. Mm -hmm. Humanizes the whole experience. Well, we're going to uh, let you guys go. We hope that you got a lot out of today. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for being interactive. Um, I had fun. Thank you, Melody. I appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Have a good night, everyone. Everybody. Bye.